Drum roll! Welcome back to a long overdue episode of Jurassic World. Well, it wasn't that long, eh? It was. It wasn't. It wasn't a month, at least. Hey, I'm getting better. So we have just won the Paris Rollifers Gen Two Pack Tournament thing. Oh my God! Well, we finally done it, so that's good. So let's open. What do we get? 1,500 bucks? Wow, that was lucky. Was it always? No, we got lucky there. Oh, oh yes. Wow, how much is that worth in real currency? I'm kind of curious. Jeez. And as well as 2,600 VI piddly points. Oh, look at you. Them oh, look, it even glows. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so we need to hatch that. But, um, yeah, look at this as another hybrid. Uh, a new super hybrid is on its way out of Jurassic World's lab. So that looks like it's Dimetrodon. So are we going to get new super hybrid DNA? Or has Ludia finally decided to take a leaf out of the many notes I've gave them? I've, I've written an entire book for them how to make this game better. <laughs> but have they actually um, given us warning now when a new hybrid is coming so we know at least to save it up? But saying that, that's probably going to come out this week. So that's not enough time to save up to get it. You really, We really need like a month's notice if there's a new hybrid going to come out, like, like Indominus uh, Gen 2. Um, sorry, Indoraptor Gen 2. Even then, well, it was literally a couple of days beforehand. So, when I lost out. So, who knows? Say hello, Mike. No, he's shy, bless him. He always on screen, but now he's got eyes. Now he can see you. He's nervous. But it's okay. You'll get there. You'll get there. Uh, so, thank you, everyone, who joined the live stream. We did watch uh, the entire series of Camp Cretaceous. And if you want to check it out, it's up there! Um, and basically, I've synced it so there's a timer and everything. Uh, so even if you watch it, you know, you didn't watch it live, you can watch it, you know, as it's a video now. And I put it on, like, not demand. I just put it out as a regular video. You don't need to be a member, don't worry. But members, you still keep your perks. Actually, if you remember, you can comment in this video and put your emojis and stuff. I don't know why that wasn't a thing. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Let's collect all our foods. And we have so many dinosaurs. We've got lots of scappers. <laughs> so many scappers. Wait, the, your capture was sent to the acid res re repository. Res repository? Re repository. Whatever it is. Um, so we've got 1,500 books from our Parasaur Gen 2. However, in order <laughs> to hatch it right away, it's probably going to be like 1,800 bucks. So really, all that's happened is we've got, you know, some extra books to help speed up. So well, I'm going to put it in my jungle source just in case. And then uh, it's probably going to cost us 10 bucks. So uh, it's only 10 bucks though, right? So let's go herbivores. And scroll all the way to the end. There it is. Parasaur Gen 2. Uh, 2,873 health and 898 attack max. And it is 1,680. So in other words, to get it set like a week. They really need to adjust this. A week. A week. A week. <laughs> Look, it took me. Oh, my God. The other day, because I was I was determined, I wasn't going to make the same mistake with the Pteranodon, because you missed out on Pteranodon Gen 2. So I was like, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to do this. We're going to, uh, what do you call it? We're going we're gonna to win this new Parasaur. We're going to win this tournament creature. Hours. Hours it took. I don't know. I feel like with Jurassic World, the game, it's too long. Like, the w a week? A week to wait for one tournament creature? And to do the tournament, it's it's like, I think it's five hours straight if you want to do it from beginning to end to make sure you've got enough cups because I think it's 1,500 cups, which pretty much guarantees you'll stay in Dominator League. So five hours to solid straight of gameplay. That's crazy. That's so much fluff and padding. <laughs> it doesn't need to, it doesn't need to be five hours. I don't know. I don't know. The fact that they're not banning cheaters, 
the, it takes a week to get a creature, you know, a tournament creature. It shouldn't take a week. It should not take a week. Maybe, maybe a day or two days, but not a week. That's way too much. And so you got cheaters, you got the hatchery that needs fixing, uh, and the tournament, which is just way too long. It's like, it's battle after battle after battle after battle for hours. Hours, Ludia. That's how you turn people off your game. To make them do the same thing over and over. And I don't know, I, I like this game, but at the same time, there's a part of me that just either, I want to hack it, because I cannot be bothered. I want to show you now the newest creatures. But I feel like if I hack it, then I'm gonna, well, let's speed it up anyway. So we, we're, we're down 190 bucks, right? Which is a lot. But it's not 1,000 and odd. But we got, all those books we earned there, lost. Boom! Oh, it's on side B! Oh, so let's have a look at the glowy. That's cool. That's cool. I bet that didn't take much to do. Because I've seen, you know, um, Dino Hunter Deadly Shores when they had the bioluminescent dinosaurs. I'm pretty sure they did stuff like this. It looks cool, though. So let's feed it all the way to level 10. Level 10. Wow, there's so much attack on this in comparison to the health. For a herbivore, that's loads. Uh, so 467 health, which is not much, but it's probably on par with, um, the, the regular para. Uh, but the 340 attack definitely is more. So this Gen 2 identical, sorry, this Gen 2 is identical to the original creature with exceptions to the luminous colora colorization or coloration on its back. Interesting. So what are the other ones going to say? Para lives longer Oh, sorry. <laughs> ah, James can't read today. Uh, the Parasaurolophus and Parasaurolophus Gen 2 live together in homo harmonious herds. This relationship is uncommon among other species. Well, they said they're basically the same. Uh, Parasaur Gen 2's favorite meal is freshwater crab. What? What? And they are most commonly located near freshwater springs on Isla Nublar and Isla Sauna. Freshwater crab? What? You're telling me that Parasaur Gen 2 is a uh, an omnivore? Uh, the violet glow on the back of the of this special Gen 2 is the product of unusual marine DNA added it at what during its creation. Ooh. Yeah, so it looks pretty much the same. That's the same model as I think the regular para. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the same model. I like how the bio, like you see the bioluminescent. It looks really good. Now, if you did watch that whole, you know, Camp Cretaceous, or you've seen Camp Cretaceous, one scene, or oh, there's, there's only one moment with these, these powers, right? But Bumpy, Bumpy the Ankylosaur is in it the entire time, basically, except for like maybe the first episode or something. So I really don't know why they haven't just decided to go like, oh, we'll add Bumpy into the game. Everybody, a tournament for hours, right? Five hours for a tournament. I wouldn't mind doing that for Bumpy. Wouldn't mind doing that for Bumpy. The Parasaur Gen 2, the Pine Luminescence cool and all, but it's not Bumpy. If it was Bumpy, I'd do it. Ooh, and we finished in the dawn, the Dominator League. Yes, look at that. We're slowly, we're slowly climbing there for Indo Gen 2. How much do we need for Indo Gen 2? Does it say? Hold on, hold on. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, shall we? Also, hold on. Is this new hybrid? If we go on news, is the Ooh! Thanks for rating us! 50 bucks! Still down! <laughs> is um is this new hybrid? Magnetator. But it doesn't look like if it was Magnetator, they would use the same what you call it? They would use the same model, right? Because the reason why I'm saying why haven't they added uh Bumpy into the game and why is it, you know, a bioluminescent para is because in Jurassic World Alive they've also added the bioluminescent para as a boss battle like the Omega. So is it Omega? Is it called Omega? Omega Rex? Well, yeah, the, the Godzilla Rex, that one. I really don't know why they haven't decided just to add Bumpy. Uh, maybe not as a boss battle, but to in integrate it. Now, it came to my attention, I didn't realize this, but uh, biolum bleh, bioluminescent dinosaurs have been sort of canon in Jurassic World 
um, before uh, the Minecraft DLC. That's the first time I heard about bioluminescence, and I thought it was because of Camp Cretaceous. That's why we're getting it sort of all the time. But bioluminescence has been in Jurassic World canon, I guess you could say, since the uh, the tour. If you guys were lucky enough to go see it, um, Jurassic World toured. There was like live show, and there was bioluminescent dinosaurs in there. I had no idea. Um, and unfortunately, as you've probably guessed, um, it's not touring anymore because of the current state of the world. Oh, my hair! It's too long! It's t I need to put more wax in! Look at it! It's doing a floppy thing! <laughs> Attack it! Kill! Oh, so we've only got 50 minutes to get these, and then I'm wondering what the next batch is. Look at this! We're so professional here! I'm knackered as well. We woke up early. Uh, well, we, sh we should have got it done actually before. I had to drop the car off at the garage. Completely forgot about it, so we woke up like, oh! <laughs> Gotta get going. Uh, do those two. 286 is enough. Good, good, good. We got this. We got this. Also, this headphone's like broken. You see it just hanging off like that. <laughs> this one's fine. It's like solid. This one, however, is completely broken. Yeah. Is it? Is it like not snapping in place? <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> it's because I've dropped it on the floor, and it's not my fault, okay? I've got a chair here, and it's got these handles that are like bars, like that, and then the, the handles like that. So the, the cable wraps under this bit, and when I turn or move away from the table, the headphones just get pulled off it. So it's not my fault! I am still getting audio through there, so that's good. <laughs> when that happens, now we got a problem. Okay, we've got 49 minutes. Let's go. Do those three. Yeah, pretty much if I can do this. And this is a good... Uh, there's so much things to talk about. Ah, Okay, so this battle, the, the food battle that you do, or at least the one that I seem to do, I'm okay with it. You know, it's not the best creatures to use, so I'm not having to wait for any crazy cooldowns. And... You know, you don't you win food from it, which <sighs> nah, it's not really why I do it. The reason why I do it is because you win VIP points. That I'm okay with, and it counts towards unlocking the um, what do you call it? The, uh, the 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 tournament creature that's not a tournament. You know what I mean? That the Clash of the Titans. That's the one I'm talking about. So the, the there is a purpose for this. It's useful. It's kind of quick. You don't have to concentrate it too much. And you get, if you're a VIP, you get 260 VIP points. And you also go the, another one towards the Mosasaur, which or the Clash of the Titans. That's not bad. Ooh, hold on, what we got here? Ooh, we've also got a battle stage 92, because I leveled up. I'm a good boy. Uh, yes, I really find there's no need to level up. Like, what am I getting? A battle stage 93? So what do I get for this? Food. DNA, actually the DNA is pretty decent, and then two, potential, whoa, whoa, okay, that's a good pack, okay, that might be the best pack in the game, it does give you a lot of DNA, it doesn't give you bucks, but you have 25, you're getting a legendary, and you're getting a tournament creature, that's like the best pack, oh my god, maybe I do need to get that, hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so let's check the trade harbor. Yeah, definitely not doing that one. <laughs> definitely not doing that one. However, we'll do that. We're slowly clawing back. We were at 4,500 bucks. <laughs> we had to get that power. Oh, I need the max power, though. I need that max power. Uh, you know what? I'll do that. Fair enough. I don't, I don't seem to do any battles that really require... Um, me to use any of the the boosts or mods, I think they're called. Are they called mods in this? I think they're called mods. Yeah, I don't really see them. Oh, they, of course, and not only do you get VIP points and you, you know unlock towards the Clash of Titans, you get super DNA. So that's probably the best kind of battle arena that you can do in the game. The only sad part is that it is the visitor center. Every battle event... You know, the things you need to do, you need to do these battles to unlock the Clash of the Titans, to get good things. Um, but they're always the same visitor center. The gyrosphere is the beach. That's nice to see. The versus is the helipad. It's a, well, you know, the helipad's the best because it's got nice lighting and it's out in the open. It looks nice. Whereas the visitor center is dark, it's dingy, it's enclosed. The gyrosphere is 
Okay. Uh, it's better than the visitor center. It is bleached. Everything's bleached orange. That's the only problem. Um, and the VIP battles, I think, are also the visitor center. They're also super tough. Um, uh, but And this one is the classic. You know, it's the first battle you, you, you take part in. And most of the time as you're progressing through the game, you see these battle arenas. This is good. I like these ones. So let's do this. So we'll go for a herbivore. Um... Can Brachiosaurus do it? And if not, well, there you go. They'll be able to do it. Look at this. Look at it. Oh, it looks so good. I love this battle arena. It's like the Indominus Rex enclosure. Do you remember? Do you remember? I remember when you first opened Jurassic World, the game, and you were greeted with this battle arena. You were like, oh, this looks so cool. I remember. Oh, it was good. Oh, it's got the Triceratops versus Majungasaurus. The little intro of the uh, helicopter going in and dropping the Majungasaurus in. What a way to start this game. It was like, whoa, look at those graphics. Especially when you consider we came from Jurassic Park Builder. Which, I mean, doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> oh, Brachiosaurus going with the tail. I've never seen that animation before. That looked sweet. Okay, we're definitely dead though. Poor Brachus Stagus. I want to see his death animation slow, though. Let's see it. What? No, Brachiosaurus. I love that they just kept the animations from Jurassic World alive. Uh, and we may as well do that. God, I'm so itchy. I need to shave. I need to shave or trim. Sorry, I need to trim. I've got, like, hairs everywhere. <laughs> I did it. Oh. Oh, it's the only battle event that actually has the whole winning animation as well. So we've got 190 DNA plus 7,000. Woo! That's a lot. Okay, so that's that done. And then next is 93, which is a really good one. And after that, it's just boring. 7,000, 7,000, 7,000. Like, could you not have thought of something else? That's so lazy. Like, did nobody settle down? Okay, right. We, You know, pe the people who are going to be winning this have been playing for the longest time. How should we re reward them? Maybe a cosmetic? Maybe, you know, uh, a, a limited statue or a limited pack or, you know, really good prize, you know, prizes? Nah. Just, what, what do you want? Imagine that. 76. What, what's the what's uh, reward going to be for, for 76? Battle stage 76. Oh, sorry, 96, sorry. Uh, 7,000 DNA? Okay, good. What about 97? Uh, 7,000? Oh, uh, okay. What about 98? Uh, 7,000? <laughs> like, what goes through your guys' brains, man? Come on! Like, this is good. Like, 93. Like, a card pack. Then 7,000. Then a, a creature, a tournament creature. And then 7,000. Why did you make it then two more seven thousands after that? Good lord. Okay, so what are we going to be getting in forty minutes? Fight for funds. Look at this. Pitiful, pitiful. Hundred and twenty bucks. God, awful. Uh, we got Gentoo Fury, Monsters of the Deep. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Beast of the Biodome is kind of probably worth it. This one definitely. We get a, mi a Microbosaurus, so a guaranteed legendary. Um, and guaranteed a hundred bucks? That's basically better than the dino. Uh, dino books. Earth Shattering, not only do you unlock it if you haven't got it already, it goes towards the Clash of the Titans, and you get a hundred bucks. Fight for funds is incredibly hard. It is, it is like Indogen 2, like 40 levels. We're talking impossible. It's only three battles. Bear in mind, it's only three battles, but it's impossible. This, however, is four battles. You get 20 less books, but it's doable. One carnivore. Done. Basically one. Basically one. I say that. Oh, no. He hits us. But we killed it in two, so there you go. Yeah, this one's way better. There's a, uh, they, they change things they do. I just... There's a lot of stuff that... Again... YouTubers out there who are hacking the game still have yet to face any consequences. And at this point, all I've got to say is that I know that Ludia watch my videos. I know they do. Because I mentioned in one of my Jurassic World the game videos that um, my Dragon Rise of Burke account 
uh, disappeared. Don't know what happened to it. And they got in touch with me and said, oh, uh, could you give me the account of, of it and we can restore it? Which I did. And I thought oh, that was really, I, you know, I was grateful for that. However, it didn't work. <laughs> it just restarted again. So I do need to get in touch with them and say it, it didn't work. But at this point, it's like, I'm not really fussed about it. Um, it was fun while I played it, but I'm okay. Um, so... They, they heard that. Somebody heard that and reported it to somebody who could help. So thank you. Which also means that you guys heard me saying you guys said you were going to fix the hacker situation. And you haven't. And yet we still have people out there creating content who have hacked the game. Who are facing no consequences. I think what, what is happening is Ludia are trying to say to me, It's okay, Beaver. You can hack the game. <laughs> I think that's what they're, they're trying to say to me. Um, and at this point, after making five, like basically 500 videos, because in this series isn't counted the Lagoon and the Glacier series, which we started um, back in the day. Oh, no! Ooh. I don't know. I, ju I just feel like if I was to hack the game now, all of my progress, all of my hard work... Like, you know, glitching the, or, you know, finding ways to try and cheat the system. All the money that I've spent on this game is now completely nullified if I hack it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I should put a poll. I should put a poll up. Because I swear down, if I hack the game and then Ludia bans my account... I'll be so annoyed. <laughs> oh, like that's one of the reasons why I don't do it. Because they've said, you know, if they know or they see people who have hacked the game, um, they will, you know, ban them. So how can I then, in good consciousness, hack the game, knowing that everything, all the money I've spent on this and all the time that I've done, I could be banned. Exactly. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. Well, he's dead in one more anyway. <laughs> You're going to die. Look at this. Easy. This is nice. I like this. Nice. I can relax. I don't have to concentrate too much. Whereas with the Blum and Dino books, I don't know why the, the, those battles are so crazy hard. What's the next one? Is that a Canto Stega? Is that the next one? Oh no, it's Prot Protogrinus. Protogrinus. Is is that the one that's like an in-between between fish and dinosaurs? Or is that a Cantostega? I think that's a Cantostega. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, iPad has not been backed up for 161 weeks! No! <laughs> Go away, man! If I click you. You're going to exit me out. Oh, oh, yeah, of course. The moment I go to, like, scroll it up, it goes, bye-bye. <laughs> He's going to kill us. Poster Sugus. Well, Rex is going to kill you. Rex is going to get you. Oh, yeah, Camp Cretaceous. They also do spoilers, I guess. But T-Rex doesn't really show up, which is interesting. And I said that. I did say, like, if this is canon then the T-Rex shouldn't show up because he's just going to be in a paddock the whole time. Although, I guess they could have seen it. They could have went to the paddock or something like that. Oh, Ichthyos. It's all these stegas. Acanto stega, Ichthyos stega. And these, you cannot pass up on these because super DNA is so hard to come by. You need to do this. I guess what I could have done, like if I had all the time in the world, what I could do is the, um, the verses, right? Because there's a good chance that I'll get Raptor DNA in the verses. So, but it's just like you get 15 and it's not guaranteed. And I need 2,000. So, 10 battles. Let's say I was looking, I get it every time. That's 150. So, I need to do over 100 battles. 100! 100 battles! What? God, no. 100 battles. I don't have that kind of time. 
Okay, here we go. 36 minutes. The final one still needs to be carnival. Should we make it easy? Should we put just one indo Indoraptor in? Yeah, there we go. One Indoraptor is for slap, slap, slap. Wabash. A level 10 Indoraptor, you don't stand a chance. I'm thinking that that second, the last hybrid might have enough health. It might. However, if Coolosaurus doesn't have enough health, I don't know if this one will. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I don't think I have 1,300. It had more, but uh, not enough attack. It's going to do like 1,000, maybe 1,200 damage if it does attack for three. Which it doesn't. And it dies in one. Oh, he could have blocked for three and then had four attack. <gasps> and then I would have been at half health. Oh, no. There you go. Sorted. Fun, isn't that right, Mike? Yes, it is. <laughs> Gonna take you. There you go. So, Microsoft, we've got the guaranteed 100 bucks. So, I think we might be up. And we have got the tournament creature, so... I mean, if it's not guaranteed, they should give you bucks for the tournament creature, so you can speed it up. That, or just negate it. Don't have it a week. A week! That's ridiculous. Um, but, I tell you what. Tell you what we will do. We will... Buy it now. How how cheap is it? The bracket is seven thousand. Um, it, oh, it's cheaper. The the parrot is cheaper. It doesn't have as much health, just by a little bit, and it doesn't have as much attack. So you are saving two hundred thirty DNA. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Huh. So seven thousand five hundred. Um, what I should do is actually just do the shortcut. Go over to site B and click add one. And then in we go. And then click out of it. And then go back over instead of having to scroll. And then add one. And then buy it. And then do that. And then go back over. Are you seeing a pattern here, guys? Guess what I'm going to do? And add one. And buy one. And activate. And go back over. No, we're done. <laughs> so there we go. And there you go. We did another one. So it's another 20. Oh, it's slowly. The slow grind. Um, so we do have uh, the VIP now. Let's have a look. What gives us the most super DNA? So the VIP exclusive event gives us 15 of each. Um, and what is the other one? Beast of the Biodome gives us 14. So we may as well do this because it gives us a little bit more. Um, I think, you know, for the Indoraptor. I think that'll do. And then, be a bit overkill. I don't think we need much else. Like, that pretty much guarantees us. That that guarantees us, right? Oh, saying that though, the Utah Raptor survives. <gasps> Ooh. I love that we fixed. I love that we fixed the law. We fixed the law in this with the Utah Raptor. When it said, discovered by um, whatever he was called. I can't remember his name. <laughs> It took me flying all the way to the Utah, interviewing Jim Kirkland, making a video on it, for you, Ludia to go, oh wait, we made a mistake. <laughs> I shouldn't have to go to these lengths, Ludia. God. Can you, like, can you at least just give me like 20,000 bucks and that way I don't have to hack the game? Actually, you know what? I guess I could do that, is just give myself bucks. Like, don't change anything else. Don't give myself everything. Just give myself, like, a hundred thousand bucks. That way, I can unlock anything I want. And, well, not unlock, but, like, I have to still play the game. I have to still, you know, earn VIP points. I have to still earn DNA. But if I just give myself a big chunk of bucks, I think, I think I'll be happy with that. Because otherwise, to get, what, like, 10,000 bucks... It, it, it's gonna cost me like a hundred pound. What? Are you kidding me? What do you want? Do you want to have food for a week, or uh, you know, have something that? And this is the thing, right? Jurassic Park Builder is the catalyst for all app games. They discontinued that game, and nothing happened. They didn't refund anybody who spent money on the game, or anything. If you if you just play Jurassic Park Builder, just play Jurassic Park Builder, you would get a little bonus for starting another game. Like this one, for instance. Nah, man. Nah, that's not good. Not good enough. 
Because I thought, you know, I played Jurassic... I've played Jurassic Park Builder for years. I promoted it, I made videos on it. I've also played Jurassic World the game for years. And now that they discontinued it, I thought that Ludi would be like, you know what? You spent money on the game, you gave us free advertising. Have a reward. No. No! I got in contact with him and said, oh yeah, um, here's my here's my game code. Um, what can you do about it? Like, oh, can I have the reward? You know, the reward that was up for grabs if you were changing. And they got back in touch with me and said, no, you can't, you're not eligible because it has to be on a new game. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> for reals? Not good, man. Not good. And I was, I was hoping, I hope this happened. I hope they didn't realize it was me. I hope they thought I was just some randomer. Because if they thought it was me, they might have been like, oh yeah, just give him the book so he'll say like, oh, we gave him books. But maybe they didn't, because it would have just been like a regular, you know, Ludia support staff. Because I think that's what it was, you just like support at Ludia. So they were like, yeah, no, we can't do that. <laughs> it's, it's just interesting how they go about things. Mobile games, man, they're weird, they're weird. Uh, like if if if, the, if this happened to a console game, right, and you bought DLC, you bought add-ons, and then they just stopped, the you know you couldn't play the game anymore. There would be uproars. There would be uproars. Oh, can you imagine it? I can. People would be flayed in the streets. <laughs> uh, so we'll do an interrupted gen. Sorry, interrupted level ten. Ostopasaurus will come in. We'll go for Metrophodon. Um, and then uh, just an interrupter gen 2, sorry, interrupter level 20. That is probably good enough. I, I might have, I should have went for a block here because he might be able to kill me in two hits. Uh, although he can't kill me one hit with Ostrosaurus though. Okay, so I'm just going to go for loads of reserves because we need, uh, we need to give Metrophodon, Metrophodon, as many attacks as possible here. Doesn't matter if interrupter dies here. He's cannon fodder at this point. We'll do, we'll do that, we'll do that. And I know I don't mean for these episodes to be ragging on uh, Ludia, but it's just... This is the state it's got to, I just feel. And I think everyone else feels the same. One, two, three, four... I mean, you can add, you know, VIP exclusive buildings, you can add, you know, a way to farm and stuff, but that doesn't change... a lot of the stuff. <laughs> Giga! Giga with the classic Jurassic Park colors kills me. <laughs> no. Right, but we, we've won this. We've won this. So we've got an extra 15 DNA. An extra 15 super DNA. Let's go for three reserves. There's always a part of me that's like, do I stop? Do I stop playing it? Like, I, I still play Jurassic World Alive. Even though I don't record it as often, I still play that because it's fun. But this one, I'm like, how much of it is fun, and how much is it a grind? And if the grind outweighs the fun, even though I've played this for years, and it, you know, we, we pretty much stopped playing Jurassic Park Builder. And then it was cancelled. The, the plug was pulled. But by the time the plug was pulled, we'd stop playing it. And this game is still support, they're still adding new things, but... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm reaching the end. I'm, I get the feeling, like, you know, between grind and fun. Grind's really tipping the scales. And I feel like I'm, I'm getting, you know, it, this game's not showing any signs of stopping. And Dominion's going to come out. And they're probably going to put the new hybrid or new dinosaur in this game as well. But I, I, I do feel, for me personally, I don't know. I'm coming to an end. I feel like you know, the end of Jurassic World, the game, is, is is coming ever and ever closer. With all the changes they've added to it, you know, taking out books from packs. I don't know whether they've put them back in. I know a lot of packs do have them. Uh, it does seem that way. Like, th there's guaranteed books now in certain packs. Yeah, they, they took them out. I'm just wondering. There was one certain pack that they took out uh, books from. Yeah, the Legendary Rumble doesn't have it. And I think regular, like the unlocking ones, they always have it. Um, let's have a look. In here, here we go. Gyrosphere Victory. You don't win books from that. So the book the book entry you've got, you, you don't get back. You're not going to get any books back. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I have enjoyed this game. Ooh, yes! More! 
I call it, I, we need to get Interrupted Gen 2. We need at least to get Interrupted Gen 2 before we quit this series. And we need to. Um, just the six days. Six days. I don't know. I don't know. And it took me, you know, for Jurassic Park to build it, to be cancelled, to make a, like a tribute to it. Um, and I think I will do eventually the same thing for this because Jurassic Park Builder started my channel. Jurassic World, the game, elevated it to, you know, the, the wider audience, I feel. I owe a lot to this game. Um, you know, and it was it was fun. At the start, we were going through, we were locking new dinosaurs. There was new new glitches or new ways to exploit to get more books. And then it was going up and up, and then the plateau. And we, I feel like in this this progress, this game, we I've been plateauing for just such a long time. Um, and we, the last, you know, the fun stuff was adding this in, you know. Um, but like. For instance, here we go. This is what happens when you first start. You get the DNA, you get the VIP, you get all of this. Now, if I was to cancel my VIP membership, do I lose it all? I don't know. I don't think you do. I hope you don't. That would be a question. If you do lose it all, yeah, I'm definitely stopping playing this game. <laughs> um, but for instance, like, look, you get all these new buildings, uh, extra slots, and then look what happened. Look what they added. Just extra things. Just extra things. Nothing in particular. No new buildings, no exclusive dinosaurs, just extra slots on already existing things. And it's it just little things like that, like that, and like this, the 7,000, 7,000, 7,000, just tells me that, you know, the whole not their whole focus is in this. And they're not 100% giving it, they're not giving it their all like they used to be. Um, and, ah, uh, I don't know. It's just, it, I, I want to really like this game again. It's just, they're not doing it for me at the moment. What can I say? You know, yeah, when, when we started, it was, it was a romance. We, we, you know, it, it was the honeymoon period. And then, you know, we had our spats. We fell out, you know, but we thought we'd stick through it for the kids. You, you guys, <laughs> and then, and then you just you stop caring, you stop putting in the effort, and at some point, one of us has got to look at each other. You promise you lied. You said you were going. You lied to me. You said you were going to take out the hackers. You didn't. You even put out a statement saying you were. You didn't. I think at one point one of us is going to have to say. I think it's going to have to be me, and say that. Uh, We've got to call this off. It's been a good run. We had a great time. But I've changed. And you've changed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but in all honesty, I, I am feeling that way. There's plenty of other games to play. Um, and even though this made my channel, and I thank you so much. If you have watched this up to this point, um, and, you know, I see I see people all the time saying, oh, I, I started watching you years ago with Jurassic World, the game. Um, but channels evolve, people change. And I think as we've seen YouTube, you know, grow, it, that's the way it's got to go. You, you don't see people who still watch PewDiePie for Outlast. He doesn't play that anymore. He knows the scary games. He, he changed. He changes material. And... You know, when this first came out, I was, you know, I liked this and it was new and it was fun and it just isn't anymore. Um, so maybe we will do like one final blowout, like selling everything and just seeing how much DNA we can get or, uh, you know, making, fusing everything together, making all of the hybrids, um, something like that. You know, having like a crazy session, like hacking the game, making, you know, 50 level 20 Indominus Gen 2s or so, Indominus, sorry, Indoraptor Gen 2s or something ridiculous. Just just going all out and like a, have a live stream as the finale, like the last episode. Um, or something like that. Because I, I feel like we, I, I, I kind of have to keep playing because I, I want to see what they do with it. I, I genuinely do. I know that they care. And I know that there's more stuff coming to this game. Just... At the moment, it might be best just to put it on the side and be like, I'll come back to you. 
And I think a lot of people who, you guys who watch my channel, know that. That's what I do, you know. Empire's Undergrowth doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, it's because I want to play it. And you'll wait for that, like the Isle. You know, if I was to rush the Isle and have an Isle video every week, I'd be bored. It would be boring, and I wouldn't enjoy it anymore, so. Um, and that's the way it, I think we, you've got to have everything in moderation. Anyway, I've been rambling for far too long. I do apologize. Let's have a look at the parasaur again before we go. This is so pretty. I would love to make you level 40, but Lydia doesn't want me to. Lydia wants me to spend how much? Like, what? what's the most expensive? Popular. And value. 20,000 bucks is a hundred pound. That is 15 speed ups for the Parasaur Gen 2 ish. If that, it might even be less. 15 speed ups. You need 8 in order to make a level 40. Over half. Basically, if you want to get Parasaur Officers, you don't have the books, for instance, you want to get Para from this to level 40, you're going to have to spend 50 quid. You've got DLCs that aren't- you've got DLCs for AAA games that aren't 50 quid. Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> you have to laugh. Because otherwise you're like... You, it's disbelief, it really is. Anyway guys, I love you. Stay cutie. And until next time, I'll see you later. Maybe in another series. Bye bye.